realized it would change my life like it has. Um, it, uh, I, I was more concerned maybe after this season with all of that. I think at the time you know, was, I had a job to do and I needed to do it. And, and, uh, I thought it was obviously big, picked up a lot of traction, but they did a nice job of the uh, Stayed out of the, the media and the limelight for the first month or so, and then Good. Um, we would start getting our footing as a team and as an offense. And, and I think the, things came a little bit easier after that. But uh, it certainly I mean, it's led to this opportunity and, and really every other opportunity I've gotten in football. So. And at the end of that year, they talked to you a little bit about staying as a tight ends coach, or was it? Was well, it? When, when we won the Big Ten, um, obviously we thought we were going to be there a long time. And then uh, when Coach Bill left Arkansas, there was something was up in the air. Alvarez was took the interim, and at that point we thought we were going to stay for a while, and, and you know, things were going to be kind of the status quo. And, and when Coach Anderson came in, he brought his own guys in, and, and so it was more of a, a deal where Coach Alvarez was trying to help me out and get me on staff. But uh, you know, each guy brings in his own guys, and, uh, so we, we, we landed at New Mexico State, and then that same group of Wisconsin guys brought me to FAU, um, and now here we are. So, have you seen, uh, you know, how much of a work in progress this is going to be? Losing so many tackles, losing the starting guards, and maybe this is the position group that has the most turnover going in next year. Yeah, I think there's a challenge ahead of us, but I think yeah. there's guys coming back that are, are good players. I think there's guys that, that want to be good and want to do things the way we're going to do them. Um, you know, we're going to bring in some, some new players too that I think we're excited, we're excited about, and uh, have a chance to be very good players here. You know. And, um, that there's been some turnovers, there's been some injuries, there's been a lot of, you know, obstacles, um, and uh, yeah, I think the way we're going to do things is going to help that. I think what we're, uh, what we're going to train, the way we're going to practice, and, and really install our offense, I think is going to make for um, the offensive line to be a, a factor, a big factor in what we're going to do going forward. So. You talked about mentality up here. How do you kind of establish that? Does that start with recruiting a certain type of guy, or? It starts with recruiting. It starts with everything that they do, um, the way they live their life. I mean, we're going to train hard. We're going to practice hard. I mean, they're going to study hard, do all those kind of things. You can't expect to go outside and, and be a, a physical, hard-nosed player if you don't live that life. You know, and so um, we're going to work hard. And, and, and I know they've worked hard here in the past, but um, like I said before, everything should be demanding. If you look at any elite organization, uh, that's really the way things are run. I mean, from a, from a Sports standpoint, athletic standpoint, all the way through businesses or military. I mean, the the, the elite units uh, train the hardest um, and, and are the best because they believe that way and they know that they're prepared. So when game day comes, they're ready to go. And uh, so that's how we'll. That's the mentality going forward. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna hit at practice. You know, we're gonna hit. And we're gonna pad it up and we're gonna hit every day. And, and we're gonna go inside drill and uh, be in the cage and we're gonna live um, that life. You know, and they're gonna know when they take the field. They're the most physical guy on the field, and they're going to win. And, and that's the mentality that they're going to take on the field. Uh, you'll see, I think guys that maybe know the position might see a few things different. Um, you know, I think hopefully you'll see a change in the line of scrimmage. I think you'll see some there. Yeah. I think you'll see some of the blocking scheme if you follow closely a little bit different. Um, we're heavy emphasis on double teams and getting vertical push. And you watch some, some of the NFL nowadays or, or even teams in this conference and everybody is kind of zoning lateral and all those kind of things. It's just a lot of philosophical differences in what we're doing. I mean, we're trying to move the line of scrimmage. So, um, you know, I think you'll see some, some differences. Um, hopefully as our offense continues to gain some traction and we have some really talented backs, and, and Mitch is a great leader back there. I think you're going to see the offense go, and I think that'll be a big representation of what we're doing up front. Is, is your gap scheme background, does that match Jay's? Yeah, actually, it bodes really well. Jay and okay. I both have a, have a strong zone background. I've said okay. I have a big gap scheme background, right. um, which is what really we're going to work on, um, which is obviously they were at uh, Lafayette and at Southern Miss. They were big in the zone, and okay. not as much in the gap. So that's where my expertise will come into play a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we're, we're excited about what we can build together in this run game because it's going to be. Backs there this year, the freshman backs there this year, and, and what we can do now and move forward, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Do you guys have any coaching ties like going back? Jay and I? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think we do. Okay. You know, we kind of talked a little bit about who we've been with and things. We know a lot of the same people, but yeah. um, you know, when, when this process started to kind of finalize a little bit, we got to know each other and, and 
we were both pretty excited. We talked during the bowl game and talked during uh, the weeks after that, uh, you know, what we were going to do and, and kind of how we were going to build this thing up. But it, it got pretty exciting. The guys on the staff were great and, and welcomed us in right away. And I've spent a lot of time on the phone with those guys, too. So it's, uh, it's been uh, – it's been a real joy, real blessing for me um, to get in here and, and collaborate with these guys and do something pretty special because you know, the, the, the resources are here, you know, and, uh, with talent and recruiting and all those kind of things to, to us to be able to do some good stuff. And I think we're going to be able to do that. The offensive line had a lot of concussions this last year. Is that kind of a challenge when, when coaching that group? Given um, how much hitting well, there is? Well, I mean, the, the, whole, the whole country is going through that right yeah. now, you know, and that's. Um, you know, that's kind of a little bit of what's happening with, with uh, our level and that uh, and everything. So um, concussions, head injuries, all those things obviously have to take precedence or take uh, precautions with those things. But um, you know, the way we're you know, come off of football, the things that doesn't happen is part of the game. Injury is part of the game. But you know, the way again, the way we prepare in the off season is a big part of that. The way the mentality they take the field is going to be a big part of that too. I and mean, it's a lot easier uh, play through an injury when you're winning than, than when you're five and seven. Or like that too. So, um, you know, a lot of that stuff's going to work out itself. An injury bug bites, there's not much you can do except for have those next guys ready to go, you know, and the ball, you're one play away. And so, um, you know, I've told all those guys that I've talked to, I mean, I don't care how uh, old they are or how much experience they have or whatever, the, the best five will play, and uh, everybody's got to be ready to go, you know. And, and so, if something happens, next man up, once our system should be in place where we can continue to do that. So, guys, we're going to slide Coach Miller out. We'll bring Coach